Good morning, boys and girls. It's lovely to see you all again. Here we are for another phonics video. We're going to start off by looking at our split digraph sounds. Can you believe that we have now found five different split digraphs? They're all up on my board and look at how much room they're taking up. We have learnt so many. We have O for phone home. A, make a cake. O, huge brute. E, Pete lives here. I, nice smile. Now I'm going to set you a little challenge this morning. You will need your pen and paper. We know how to write these split digraphs, but we also know how to write other ways of making the same sound. For example, A, make a cake. I know this way of writing the A sound, but I also know A, A, nail in the rain. I know E for Pete lives here, but I also know E, E, what can you see? I want the sounds to sound the same, but they must be written differently. See if you can write your split digraphs on your pen and, with your pen and paper, and then write different ways of making the same sound. See if you can find all the different ways you're going to have to use your memory. You might need a little bit longer with this, so you might, have want, you might want to pause the video. I'm going to put them on my board though, and you can compare and see if you've got them all. So for our A sound, let's start with this one first. We already have A, A, make a cake. A, A, snail in the rain. Did you remember the other way? A, A, may I play? When do I use this type of A? You're right at the end of a word because it's got this Y. I know that that type of A will come at the end of a word. What about our OO sound? We have OO, OO, huge brute. OO, OO, poo at the zoo, one of our favourites. And OO, OO, chew the stew. E, 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 Pete lives here. E, E, what can you see? Do we know any other ways? One of Miss Richardson's favourites. E, E, a cup of tea. We've also got E, E, a jockey playing hockey. I, there is a trigraph that makes the I sound. I, G, H, the I, G, H, I, I, fly, hi. And there's also a tricky word where it's just one letter, but it makes the I sound. It's our capital I, which can be an I. I wonder if you remembered that one. We've got one more to do. O, 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 phone home. O, O. Blow the snow. Oh, oh, goat in a boat. Look at all of those sounds we have learnt, and every column makes the same sound, but it's written differently. I wonder if you could now write some words, but the words you're going to write are all going to have these split digraphs in them. Could you write the word? Blame. Have a go. Get your pen and paper again and just try your best. Blame. There was a flame in the kitchen. Blame. I can hear the A split digraph sound. Oh, I've done my f that goes up to the sky and down to the ground. Oh, A. Here's the split digraph. Aim. Come 
come back to the sound in the middle. Could you have a go at writing the word five? I am five years old. I wonder which splat, split digraph it will have in it. It's got our I, I, nice smile in it. I, I can hear it. I've. I've done another one of my F letters, ready for when I join my letters up. I, there's my split digraph. Come back to the sound in the middle. I've. Five. We're going to do one more. The word is joke. I love hearing a joke. It'll have our O O split digraph bone home in it. J O, oh, here's my split digraph. J O. Come back to the sound in the middle. Joke. Our new learning today is going to be a trigraph. That means there are three letters making one sound. Our sound is aya. Can you say it with me? Aya. Aya, aya, aya. Aya. I'll show you what it looks like. Three letters making one sound. I, r, e, i, r, e, aya. Get your writing finger at the ready. We're going to write it in the air. I lead in for my I. Don't take your pen off because we're going to join them up. Up for the R. Down again. Then over. Round for your E. And then go back and dot your I. Let's see if we can write it on our hand this time. You'll need your hand at the ready. And then you can write it with your other hand. Lead up for your I, down, up for your U, down again, then over and loop round for the top of your E. Then go back and dot your I, aya, aya, aya. And the rhyme is, hmm, the scary one, fire, fire. I hope you never have to shout this like these boys and girls are doing. There's a fire, fire. Let's write that word down and see what it looks like. Fire. It starts with my sound, I, I, and then it's simply my trigraph. Fire. How many sounds are in that word? There's just two, you're right. We have our f sound and then our aya sound. So there's only two sounds, but how many letters are there? You're right, there are four letters, but three letters together are just making one sound. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit tired. Let's have a go at writing the word tired. T, tired, tired. I know I need three sounds in this word. T, aya. Here's my new trigraph. I, r, e. T, tired, tired. Let me just check. I knew I needed three sounds. Have I written them all? T, tired, tired, one, two, three, perfect. With your pen and paper, could you write a really long word? The word is vampire. I watched a scary film and it had a vampire in it. You need more time, just pause the video.
I'm going to put it on my board. Mm -hmm. Um, vam, vam. I can do that bit. I can sound it out. Vamp, vamp. I need to add the extra sound. Vamp. Aya. Here comes my trigraph. My three letters making one sound. Vampire. There we go. Three letters, one sound. What about if I wanted to make it a plural? I watched a film with loads of vampires in it. In, in it. I'd simply add my suffix to the end. In your home learning pattern, you will have a game with lots of words containing my trigraph aya. See if you can roll your dice, choose a word and read it. Then see if you can put it in a sentence. Once you've done that, come back and join the video because we're going to write a sentence this morning. The sentence is, can a vampire breathe fire? in your house. I'll say it again because it's quite a long sentence. Can a vampire breathe fire in your house? Think carefully about your punctuation. What type of sentence is this? Does it need a full stop? Have a think. When you're ready, have a look on my board. Can, starting with my capital letter that's bigger than all the others. K -an. Can, can, ah, oh, I'm leaving finger spaces again between my words. Just check, have you? Can a vamp aya. Oh, I can hear my aya sound. V -am. Vampire. P Ah, yeah, there's my trigraph. Can a vampire breathe? B, R, E, it has our E, E, cup of T sound in it. B, R, E, Now I know it's a for thank you because my tongue comes out when I sound talk the word. B, R E. It's not a for flower. It's a for thank you. Can a vampire breathe fire? I can hear my trigraph again. Aya. Fire in your. Did you remember how to spell that tricky word your? Yeah, or oh, that's how it sounds, isn't it? But actually, there's another letter in the middle. A little oh, I hope you remembered it. Can a vampire breathe fire in your house? Huh? Ow! House. Now, house is a tricky word, and it's one that we're going to look at today because it sounds like her. Huh, Ow for shout it out. S -h house, house. But it's tricky. And I wonder if you can remember my rhyme. Don't stop there. Add an eh. You're right. House is tricky because it's got a silent eh on the end that we can't hear. Can a vampire breathe fire in your house? What piece of punctuation do I need at the end of my sentence? It's a curly whirly question mark. It's a question, so I need to put a question mark at the end. Great phonics today, boys and girls. See you all soon.